Mm-hmm. What about me? Do you feel like you or someone from your group would be willing to um, come to the table and work with some of these people and possibly try to um, maybe set a code of conduct? have questions for her Tom anybody okay we may I, I may have something later but thank you I really appreciate you being here today Thanks yeah um, okay I want to open it up to the public if anyone else has anything they want to say before um, the counselors voice their opinion and we make a, a move on this so yeah go ahead if you have something just form a line name and address please go ahead oh you have to go to the podium sorry Thank you. Good morning. Dr. Good morning. Jay, 26 Final Farm Road. Uh, here we are again. <laughs> uh, this is an old issue. It goes back many, many years. I've personally been in Scar for 10 years. Uh, when I arrived, you could park anywhere in Higgins Beach, any street, hundreds of cars, everywhere. Uh, that was deemed a problem. So we built sidewalks. Uh, which narrowed the streets and became a safety issue, so you, obviously you couldn't park your cars on those streets. We then built a seawall. We successfully made it so narrow up near certain houses uh, that those parking places were taken away too. Then uh, we supposedly there was supposed to be some issues and, and uh, we wanted to reduce the parking even more. This, this has been a long term attack on beach access. It's been a, a slow reduction of compromises every few years. I see it as every couple of years there's another compromise done. Uh, there was compromises made many years ago and every time we come to the table here another compromise is made. Well if you keep compromising every time you come to the table you're going to end up with nothing. There's only a few bays left on Bay View. That's the only parking, the only public parking that's free on Bayview. That's the only things that are left. You've got two handicapped spots there. That was part of the deal. You had some parking spots removed by a, a certain person who had a fence built outside their house to try and mitigate some of these issues last time. A fence was built. Well, that person has got a sale sign on their house now. And this makes me very, very angry. This was part of the, the issue last time and the compromise that was made by the council last time. This was negotiated by hundreds of people. We all came out. We all spoke about this a few, a few uh, years ago. I think it was a couple of years ago. This was all here on the table. A compromise was reached, and yet here we are again 
with the same old photos, the same old issues supposedly coming up. Some of those photos are old. They were here the last, on, the, on the last round. Here we are again. And it seems like an invention of issues, surfer being, being a popular one. I'm personally a dog walker. I'm also a surfer. I spend more time walking my dog. I'm there at 6 a.m. every morning. I pull up, I walk my dog. 45 minutes later, I get back in my car again. But I, I see this as an attack to try and reduce people who use the beach. Not just surfers, but there's a lot of other people out there. There's more <coughs> people who use that beach than surfers. On a good surf day, yes, there's a lot of surfers down there. Do you know how many times there's a good surf day in Higgins Beach? <laughs> if, it was, if it was there a lot of times, good surf, you'd have got half California living here. But it's not. People tend to move the other way. The waves are on the west coast. There's a long period of, of flat spells where there is absolutely no service pulling up. They're dog walkers, they're pe people who like using the beach. And I feel this is an attack on beach access. And it's got to stop. These compromises every couple of years has got to stop. Okay, your time's up. Thank you very much. Thank for you. The opportunity. Thank you.
Okay, Mr. Robner, you know you can't. You know the rules. You know the rules. Okay. I'm sorry. All right. I totally understand where you're coming from. I, I, I. Trust me, I do. Mr. Rovner, you're done. Mr. Rovner, I'm serious. You're done. It's done. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate your comments. comments for this section and then I want to see a motion on the table please so would you like to start sure go ahead um, and then you? I've been going to Higgins Beach for almost 60 years uh, I walk there two or three times a week my mother-in-law lives down there and I, I know I've said this before and what I try to do is walk at different times of the day and <coughs> I was out there the other day when it was 10 degrees out. Um, and I have to say that I have, and granted, I'm only down there, you know, for a few minutes, whatever, but I haven't seen any particular issues, uh, particularly in the off season. Um, and I make, make note of, you know, whether people are overstaying their five minutes or overstaying their one hour or parked in the handicapped spaces or whatever, and frankly, I, I haven't seen that. My disappointment is that uh, Higgins Beach, to me, has always been, I, for lack of a better term, a working class type of beach. 
Uh, when I was a kid, it, there were a lot of people from, I'm, I grew up in South Portland, from South Portland uh, who had places on Higgins Beach because it was affordable and it was close to home and, you know, spent time and whatever there. Uh, and I've seen um, a change, which is, which is true all, all, all along the main coast of um, property values going up and people building bigger places and, and a desire for a little more exclusivity there. That being said, I mean, I am appreciative of the Higgins Beach folks coming back with their ideas. Um, and, okay, I, I can see maybe adding another handicap spot. I can absolutely see adding um, a special spot reserved for uh, use of police or whomever, um, uh, town use, so to speak. Um, I cannot see limiting public parking on a public street to just senior citizens or any other particular group. Uh, there are a lot of people in this town, and I've heard from a number of them, who enjoy being able to go down there and have a sandwich or just park. Sometimes I do it. I don't park in my mother-in-law's place. I'll go down and I'll park in that one-hour spot and just take a quick walk or whatnot. People walk their dogs, keep them on leash. I'm just <laughs> um, and you know, I just hate to see that uh, go away. Uh, and I agree that it's it's. When I was a kid, you could park anywhere, pretty much. <coughs> and now it's become more and more and more limited. So um, I can see a couple of things changing, but I don't see limiting the park. Okay. Thank you. Um, again, it's not a parking issue. It's a, a behavioral issue. And it's unfortunate that the only way that we seem to be able to solution it is to turn to parking. Um, and, and we're talking about uh, 10 or 11 parking spots. Um, People have said, oh, this doesn't happen at other beaches. Well, other beaches have parking lots right at the beach. Unfortunately, we're not at Higgins Beach as lucky. It takes three minutes and 45 seconds to walk from the parking lot down to the beach. That's not a big deal. In fact, it's probably a shorter walk from than from the end of what's the parking lot down at Pine Point to the beach. Um, it's very unfortunate that there are people that use the beach on a continual basis, especially the dog walkers first thing in the morning, uh, to try to, to try to limit their access. And it's we're not trying to limit that access. You know, if if we could be assured that whoever is going to be parking down there is not going to be undressing when there's a perfectly fine place to undress a parking lot a thousand feet away. I don't understand why people have to do it down in front of other people's houses. In the summertime, it's disgusting. And in the wintertime, it's equally as disgusting. I've walked by there many times early in the morning, <coughs> during the day. The past two weeks, we've had two uh, parking bans. Not down in Bayview. They come down Bayview, they don't give a shit. They are parking right, right in the middle of the street. Now, that's not right. We've got a... We've got a little bit of respect that we have to give to the people that live down there. And if it's too difficult to change your clothes up in the parking lot, I mean, what are you going to do? What are you going to do if there's 20 surfers? You know, 10 of them have to, have to go up to the parking lot. 
Why can't they all go up to the parking lot? Not a big deal. I'd love to be able to reserve the parking spots down there for the dog walkers, for the senior citizens. <clears throat> okay. Um, uh, I love when it comes down to me. <laughs> no pressure. Um, I, I have, I have sympathy. I feel sympathy for both sides of this issue. Um, I don't. I truly don't think that. Um, the people of Higgins Beach would have brought this forward if it wasn't a continuing issue that they found offensive and bothersome. Um, that being said, I've, this is my third year on the council, and this is my second time on the ordinance committee dealing with this same issue. Um, that in itself frustrates me. That means that we're missing something somewhere. Obviously, what we did the first time is not working. Um, I've thought a lot about this. My feeling is, and, it, and, and part of what I directed to the surf riders was, um, I think we need to bring a few people together and try to figure this out outside of council. I don't think this is a council issue at this point. Does that mean it's never going to be a council issue? I, I don't know. That it, it may be. Um, but I think that with dialogue and with a few meetings, we're talking about some very reasonable people here. Um, every person I've dealt with <clears throat> that has been um, a surfer has been extremely pleasant to me. Maybe, that's, maybe I'm naive. Maybe it's because I'm a council member. I, I don't know. But they've always been very accommodating. Um, they want to see this work. They don't want to lose their spots. They don't want to lose those, those spots down there. And, and quite frankly, I truly believe that a lot of you from Higgins Beach don't want to see those places. You don't, you don't want to start a war with this. This is, this is not how we should do this. Um, I agree with Jean Marie. I think a couple more handicapped spots would not be a bad thing. Um, I also agree with the official use parking spot. I think the police should have a spot down there if they need it. Um, I think that it will be helpful for them to be able to enforce what, they're, what they need to enforce if they have a place for them to park. Um, a drop-off area is also huge for me. I've got small children. It's not easy to unload everybody when you've got a huge family. Um, and so I think there are things in this proposal that we can bring to the surfers and have them come to the table and we can work through this without having to involve the entire council. Um, I'm not prepared to send this to council, um, so I'm going to vote against doing that. Um, but you have my word, um, and I've said that, and some of you know me very well by now, that if I give you my word, I mean it. And I, I will look more into this, and I think we can pull a group together, and we can work through some of this without having it become a contentious issue. Because we're not a contentious town. We don't need issues that are not necessary. We've got enough problems that we need to deal with. Um, we have beautiful beaches, and we should all have the right to use them. So that's how I feel. Um, that being said, if you are interested in being part of that discussion, please uh, reach out, email me. We'll set something up. Hopefully we can have someone from the police department there um, because we will need their input on what we can and cannot do down there. Um, we'll need someone from the uh, surfers, and we'll need someone from Higgins Beach. And I want to say, if you are going to reach out and contact it, me to do this. I need it to be people that want to come to the table and actually work on this and make it happen. That means coming to the table with, with an open mind and, um, as, as cheesy as it sounds, an open heart, and let's make this work, okay? Um, is, is there a motion? Because we do need to do something with it. Well, one thing, uh, make sure you include the dog Yes, absolutely, yes. And I think we have a few of those people here, so we'll make sure that they're involved. And I think there's probably a couple other people we could come up with that 
um, should be involved in that. And we'll work with Tom on that and make sure we get a group. It will be an informal group. I don't think we need an ad hoc. I don't think we need to go down this whole big road. Um, I think we as adults can sit in a room and have a conversation and work through this. And I hope hope I can get enough people to the table to agree to that. Okay? So are we going to yes. table it? Um, I would dismiss it. If my, my suggestion would be to dismiss it at this time. And then, and then we bring it back if we need to. Um, okay. Go ahead. Uh, I move that we dismiss this matter um, in the hopes that the groups can meet informally and work something out. I'm going to second it. Can I second that? Yeah, I'll second it. All those in favor? Oh, wait a minute. This, this oh, discussion. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I jumped the gun. Um, Go ahead, Dad. We have a lot of people that are willing to jump in mm -hmm. and start discussing this. Why don't we let them discuss it? Well, come, come back, back to us. Well, they can come back. Well, they can come back at any time. We're just saying that this is being We're saying that this line item right now, I can get it off of our plate. And then I will work with these people. And if we have to, to put something in place, we'll come back and resubmit it. But for now, we're, we're pushing it off the table. Otherwise, Tom and I have to keep discussing it every month. <laughs> and I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> I'll talk about it all day. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, it okay. It doesn't mean it's going away. I don't think anybody here is going to let it go away. I'm not going to let it go away. I gave you my word. But for now, I think if we don't take it off the books, it's going to continue every month. Tom and I have to then go over it every month, and I have to status update him, and then we have to decide, does it go on the agenda, and why is it not going on the agenda, and so on and so forth. If that's what you want, that's fine. That, that's your vote. I'd, li I'd, like to st I'd like to see the group get together and come back to us ASAP. With recommendations. With a recommendation, yeah. Right. Well, this doesn't prevent them from doing so. No. Nope. Well, it doesn't prevent them from doing it. But <coughs> this holds us to a, you're, you want us held to. I want it held on the agenda. <coughs> Correct. I understand what you're saying. So. All right. Take a vote. Okay. So are you, you're, you're asking for an amendment to her motion? Well, I'm not asking for it. You need to vote on the motion. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Another motion is appropriate. Right. So we're, we're voting on Jean Marie's motion. Correct. And there's two votes to dismiss it. Oh, I don't think you called for a vote yet. Yeah. I, I did. Call for the vote. Oh, you did. Oh, I did, yes. Yeah. Okay. So all those in favor of Jean Marie's, Jean Marie's motion on the table to dismiss it at this time. It's two. All those against. One. So the motion. Okay. All right. Moving on. Please, I encourage you to reach out to me if you want to be part of that group. Okay. Do you want to sounds like a group. give it a, a short, a recess, but just to yes. Keep We're gonna give it a two-minute recess, so those of you that don't need to hear the rest of us can move out. Um, I'm telling you right now, I'm not gonna let it.
Um, we're going to move on to item number five, which, which is discussion on the parking at Pine Point. Tom is sure. going to start, um, and then I think we have a few people in the audience that want to talk about it. And we also still have um, <laughs> representation from the police department here. So, Tom? Yeah, perhaps uh, two seasons ago, maybe three, forgive me for not being uh, totally accurate in that regard, but there appears to be a, a different phenomenon parking along the lower end of Pine Point Road has kind of cropped up over the last several seasons. This committee, some of you have sat on this committee in the past, have talked about it, but the committee stopped short of doing anything. And the last time, as I recall, this issue came up before the ordinance committee, uh, there was actually a proposal that the town engineer put together that proposed essentially to uh, provide some level of on-street parking. Uh, it was a fairly thoughtful kind of an engineering analysis that uh, analyze roadway width, shoulder uh, uh, width, and those sorts of things, and also respected the various driveway openings and curb cuts along that stretch, and came up with a proposal to allow some level of on-street parking, but not kind of the Wild West that exists today. Essentially, with the exception of posted areas, um, respecting sight distance from openings, driveway openings, there are no restrictions of on-street parking uh, today, and they to my knowledge, uh, at least in modern history, there's never been any restriction. And I think part of that may have to do with there was never really a demand. Um, mm -hmm. There's all sorts of theories that abound as to why this parking demand has uh, materialized. That's probably not important <coughs> to theorize what happened and what right. caused it. The fact is it's, it's been consistent over the last at least two seasons, if not three. So that's kind of where we are. We're kind of picking up where the conversation stopped. I, I did invite uh, all the property owners, uh, made them aware of this meeting, and I know Mr. Thurlow is here in the audience. Yeah. Perhaps others, I, I don't know, um, are here. No, I, and I feel as though, and I, I feel as though I owe you an apology, Mr. Thurlow. I, I believe I might have dropped the ball on this. Um, I think at the close of our last meeting, I was hoping to set up a meeting with you and um, the landing, the people at the landing, mm -hmm. um, to possibly talk about some of this issue. Um, I have a lot of sympathy for you. You're running a business, and I feel like a lot of times, and please correct me if I'm wrong, you have overflow into your parking lot that's taking away from the people that are eating at your restaurant because of beach parking. People are using your parking lot to park for the beach, and it's taking away from your business. Is that correct? And you're also getting landing overflow, right? You're also getting landing overflow too, right? Could, do you mind going to the podium? I'm sorry, I put you on the spot, I'm sorry. Sorry, Tom. Mm -hmm. I just wanna make, I'm trying to make sure I'm refreshing my memory correctly, but I do think it was, I, I did drop the ball on this. Yeah, we're just concerned about the burden that's been placed on us by restricting the parking down. Correct. You know, they, there's no facilities, you built a beautiful park for everybody, you know, everybody wants to go down there now. Yeah. Correct. I mean, last year wasn't the last two years it hasn't been bad because they discovered they can park on the street legally. Right. So anybody that has come in with us, you can't, you know, you can park on the street. So they have to. And now we take that away from them, we're going to end up with a problem. Are you getting um, a landing overfill? We try to police it. You do? Yeah. You police it yourself? Yeah. Okay. So you can kind of tell. Well, we know there's a function going on. We can kind of right. keep them out of it. Right. And are people pretty open to moving if you tell them? I didn't think so. I have, I'll tell you, I, I, I have, I have, one of my biggest pet peeves is, is people having to police their areas when they're not police officers, because it's not their job. They shouldn't have to do that. Um, and as, as you know, that can sometimes become tricky and, and can put you in a situation that could be potentially a dangerous situation. Sometimes people aren't very nice about when they're asked to move. Yeah, and that's not. Yeah, and that's not okay. So that's why we're here. Yeah, I mean the issue that Mr. Thurlow, uh, you know, very correctly points out is that it's, there's a burden placed on right. not just uh, business owners, probably more business owners, but even homeowners. The, the, the delicate part of that is that. Uh, we patrol very carefully to make sure that, uh, you know, the solution would be for him to have a, an attendant and to charge for parking right. and problem solved. Well, I think that opens a whole can of worms right. because there's a number of residential properties that would like nothing more than to charge 
10 or 15 bucks and park cars all over their front yard. And so we've really, I'd suggest that we try to resist that. Yeah. Uh, just because I think it really does invite a whole level of other potential problems to us in the in the whole area. The last time we met, the last, which was, uh, again, I, I, <clears throat> I apologize, it was before, it was my last year on last year, um, we had talked about the the landing. Have you had any conversations with them? At that time, you had not. You have you still have not. Okay. I think even one time we had to go over and ask, ask them to tell the people to move because they were taking our parking lot. And did they do it? They did. They did. <clears throat> okay. But, you know, that, we're not making any friends because they're going to move the car on the climate because they don't move. Right. So. Right. And that's not, no it's not that business friendly right. atmosphere that you want to give off. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't have to be put in that position in the first place. Okay, so that's basically sort of an overview as to why we are where we are. Um, and I think at our last meeting I did say, I did eh, say that I would try to have a meeting with all of you and Tom and try to work through maybe pull in the PD, someone from the PD again, sorry guys, um, and try to figure out how we make this all work. Um, and keep it that business-friendly atmosphere that we really want Scarborough to be, and we want your business to be. Um, and when we tried when we owned the warehouse property, we right? Of, uh, we used to try to work with people. They came in and parked the restaurant. No, you can't park here. We sent well, you go at the end of the your parking lot, the warehouse, mm. you park there. So we try to give them an option. They might come back to buy something. You know? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least you're giving them an option. Right. But we don't. We can't do that anymore. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and I should mention there's been change of ownership. Uh, the the property right. Alan just spoke of has been has changed in ownership since uh, right. I think you last took this up, and I I believe the landings is under new ownership it and is. management. It is. So, it is. Um, maybe what you suggest is what's in order. And yeah. Are no you willing to do that yeah. at this point? If 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 we set something up, um, maybe bring them all to the table, and we'll um, ask someone from the PD to join us and. Maybe sit down again, and like we just did with our last group of people, um, I, you know, I'm always pro, let's try to talk through this before we bog down the council. The council's got a lot of things going on, so. Well, it's 10 or 15 days in the summer, it's really nice, and you can't yeah. bog down there. That was probably the worst thing. Okay. Yeah, I will say just two things by way of historical yeah. background. This came to the council. One, the police department was had mm -hmm. responded to some initial complaints. And then there were some other resident complaints that came to us. Yeah, we uh, did get a couple emails. About two years ago. So that's really why this came before this committee in the first place. We have taken it upon ourselves under the authority in the current parking ordinance or traffic ordinance to post signs to make sure that the, uh, again, curb cuts are respected. Yep. Uh, so there are some limited no parking zones uh, by virtue of uh, driveway openings. Yep. But beyond that, there's no regulation. And there's really no urgency. Uh, at some point, the sun will shine, and <laughs> we'll be back at the beach. Uh, that's Someday. really the urgency. Right. I bet your parking lot's fun at, <laughs> sometimes. Right. Oh, yeah. Right. I, well, I was a police officer at one time in Old Orchard, and I will say that beach down there is, uh, <laughs> well, I'm not going to go there, but um, so you're willing to um, meet with everybody, and um, yeah, that'd be, that I think that's think that's where we should go. Are you, either of my fellow council members, do you have any objection to that? No. So, um, so just would someone like to put a motion on the table to possibly um, table this? Give me another month, and then we'll report back. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, please go ahead. Yes. Absolutely. If you're here, we want to hear from you. Henry Delapia, 10th Snow Canyon Road, Chicago. I think it all depends on Mr. Phil because the problem down there, we never had a problem. I've been there 20 years. And the only time the problem started is when they opened up the landing and that lady that owns it now, Christine, called me a couple times this week and she's trying to lease some land from somebody oh. in that area. To For parking? That's true. That's where it all started. And that's been an issue from the very beginning. And then when you see the people from the landing was able to park alongside the road, now everybody parks alongside the road. Then the overflow comes into my place and goes, you know, the try to get into Mr. Phil's place. And yep. 
They try to pass for nothing. Can't blame them for that. They're trying to do it for nothing. My biggest problem is really they're using the woods, you know, in the mark for a bathroom. I mean, that, oh, God. that, uh, that will, will be a problem there. And then they start packing down the snow canning road, and I got trailer trucks in and out of there all day oh, long. Yeah. And that creates a problem for us. But I'm not against the park. I mean, I'm not against the people. Yep. I mean, Police department's fine with that. <coughs> yes. I mean, it's, I, I don't have a problem with it. The only problem I have is probably with people using the woods out there and, uh, for bathrooms. And, and the lady is really trying to find a place to pack mm -hmm. the over, folks. I mean, she, she called me twice this week. I bet I she is. So you can take care of that problem. Yeah. You know? I think you would also be beneficial if you don't mind. It would be good for you to join us, being a, a business owner down there. Um, if you're willing to do that, um, if you could email me at my town address, then we can set something up. Yeah, that'd be fine. Thank you so much. much. Yeah, I do have contact information you do? for okay. all the property owners there. Great. The, the only problem I have with trying to work the landing is probably when their prime time is, it's not going to be my prime time. Exactly. Okay. Yep. We'll figure, we'll figure, we'll figure, we'll figure something. The other thing about parking on Pine Point Road, on both sides, is that people are opening up their car doors. Kids are getting their stuff out. And the parents are trying to get stuff out of the back. You've got cars coming down there. They could take off one of their car doors right. or hit their kids so easily. And when they built the Snowberry Park, I thought that the two lanes on Pine Point Road were for bicycles. And so now, when you've got people parking there, there's no more bicycle lanes. And they made a bicycle lane all the way from Pine Point Road, where it turns and becomes King Street. There's the white line for the bicycle road. So now, when they park there, people who bicycle have to bicycle with the cars in the road. And so that's a dangerous thing as well. And there are no facilities at Snowberry Park. So people don't just use the marsh, they use the park. <laughs> And that's where they go, and that's what they do. We've got a water fountain that works sometimes, but not always. And then we have a little spray thing that to wipe the sand off of your feet, and it fills up with so much sand because there's so many people that it locks it up, and you've got sand all over the place. So you got to think about doing this on Pine Point Road because I'm sure the neighbors are getting tired of people using the park as a bathroom. Absolutely. Thank you. That's a good for us to know, actually. Good morning. Good morning. I'm Cody, AP Pillsbury. Um, my observation from being on Pillsbury was the past, what happens is, for park, parking, um, there's an overflow parking lot that doesn't always open up. So people go and park on the side street, or they park over at the co-op where they can park for free. And then they get dropped off, and then they go park at the co-op or maybe up on Pine Point. If you were charging parking on Pine Point or opening up that overflow lot and kind of forcing them to go to pay, um, the traffic issue on Pine Point Road might not be as you know, congested down there. If you create parking on both sides in the peak days with all the traffic going to Old Orchard or the Heard Park, Tight. So, you know, they are circumventing the parking, paid parking, by going over to Pine Point or the co op or the few slots on Jones Creek, which are free. So maybe we create paid parking. There's quite a few spots that, and in our last meeting, we had actually talked about mm -hmm. um, using those meters like they have in Portland where. You don't have to have them at every spot. I think both sides might be an issue. Both <coughs> sides might. But, you know, they are looking for free. Yeah. And it's not, uh, um, what's the word I want to say? Uh, it's not creating a safe environment. So I think safety should be free. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Okay. <coughs> Robert Grove, Ms. Walking, I didn't think to talk on this issue, but there is a lot 
Judge Vegas at the corner of uh, East Grand Avenue and uh, Pine Point Road as, as you cross over. I believe it's owned by the people who have the first house on the right. Um, I don't think they intend to build on it. At the time, Snowberry Park and the whole swap was taking place, I suggested at that time. The town buy that piece of property and convert it into a parking lot. I'm sure that that was also, uh, not considered at all. Um, you have other locations along East Grand Avenue that have come up for sale over a period of time, very small lots. I think there's an opportunity here for the town once again to make money and to convert these pieces of property into either a bathhouse, a small bathhouse, a bathroom facility, uh, and a parking lot, uh, or both, or one or the other. They're there. Again, I only urge the town to look at these opportunities differently than they look at them in the past and to think of different ways to benefit the community at large. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anyone else? Okay, so as for item number five, discussion on the pine uh, parking at Pine Point, is there a motion? Um, I I move that uh, we table this to the next <coughs> ordinance meeting um, and that the chair yeah. set up a meeting Thank with you. interested parties. In the meantime, prior to the next meeting. Thank you. Second. All those in favor? to vote. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. And I, and I do apologize, especially to Mr. Thurlow, for not having that, that, that meeting happen before today. But we will make it happen. Can I ask one question? Yes, absolutely. Clarification. <clears throat> and only you people that live down there will know <clears throat> the parking that's happening on Pine Point Road. <clears throat> is that primarily only when there's an event at the landing? Mm -hmm. all, all the time. Summer. Okay. So the parking is used regardless of whether there's a place, uh, an event going on. As Thank long you. as it's summer. Yeah, the town did nothing, um, didn't change the regulations, didn't right. permit it, it was always permitted, it just started coincident with uh, the landings. Interesting. Right. Yep. Okay. Right. Mm, great. Okay. Yep. Yeah. It's inter that's an interesting point. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Very appreciated. Thank you, Mr. Thurlow. Um, item number six, discussion on the property tax assistance ordinance. Tom, <laughs> I'm breaking you guys can go. <laughs> go quick. Unless you want to, like, you know, join in. <clears throat> Thank you for Thank coming. Thank you for coming. Um, Tom, do you want to lead sure. with this? Yeah, um, yeah. I brought this issue to the committee, and I appreciate your interest in, in hearing, or at least wanting to explore the potential of expanding this program. Uh, I did engage uh, legal counsel in kind of drafting the language, and what I found out is that the state law that authorizes such local tax assistance programs uh, doesn't extend to this class of, uh, of our population. So there's, we lack the statutory authority to expand our program. So um, again, I think it was a novel idea. I appreciate your attention and willingness to consider it, but I don't believe it's even an option for us to consider. Oh, we can talk to our legislators. I was just going to say, <laughs> don't we have a meeting no, with them coming up? We could bring that up tomorrow night. Yeah. 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 So okay. at this point, I would suggest you uh, defeat it, yep. uh, move it off your agenda, and then if we're able to get some change in right. legislation, we can bring it back at any time. Okay. Do we have a motion? I move that we dismiss this, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> item, <laughs> item five, excuse me, item six, six. discussion on property tax assistance <laughs> ordinance. Do I have a second? Second. Is there a discussion? We've had the discussion, I think. Uh, all those in favor? All those opposed? It's a vote. Um, I th item number seven is adjournment. Do I have a motion? I move we adjourn. Second. And uh, hold on. I just want to make sure. Can we uh, oh. recap this for next meeting so we have the agenda set? Um, um, we can. Quickly. Yes. So uh, we're going to be able to report back on Pine Point. Um, Pine Point. Yep. 
We're going to be able, I'm going to give a report back on Bayview Avenue where I stand on that. You want that scheduled on yes. the agenda? Yes, I want it on the agenda for uh, just for this month, just for one uh, month, for just for him, <laughs> just for Ed so I can let him know where things stand. Keeps, it keeps me accountable. So I'll characterize it as a report. A not report, as a discussion. not as a discussion. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just so that I can okay. give him. No, she did say report. I did say yeah. report. Very good. Um, and then um, our third item will be. You're going to kill me. No, go ahead. Fireworks. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You like. You like. I I'm sorry. I'll just need some direction as to what Yes, I'll talk to you about it. Um, I've had a couple of discussions with some firefighters who have some really strong concerns about our fireworks ordinance and have asked me to discuss it. So I'd like that on the table, please. Yep. And I'd like to do it before summer. So if we start now, maybe we'll <laughs> maybe we'll get somewhere. Maybe. So if we could please have that, is that is everyone okay with that? Are you okay with that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. No, no, you're fine. Thank you. Um, and so we will meet uh, next month at 9:30, and I believe the date is March. Does anybody have a calendar right in front of them? 17th. It is again? No, can't be. <laughs> yeah, because the oh, calendar. Oh, yeah, because it's sweet. No, Wait. it's the same. It should be, it should should be, be the same. It's within a day or two, yeah. It's a day oh, or two. Oh, awesome. <laughs> it's never when you need it. Uh, 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 I don't have it in there. Are we the second? Third. 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 Third so that's St. Patrick's Day, yeah, it's the 17th. 17th. Ooh. Okay, so our next meeting will be March 17th at 9.30. Council Chamber A. Okay. okay. Item seven, adjournment. Do you have a motion? So moved. Second. All those in favor? It's a vote. Thank you. Thank you.